everyone, and welcome to the Prince Magnum channel, where hot riding and romance do coexist. I'm your host, Prince Magnum. Welcome once again to do-it-yourself budget hot riding, and for one of the first times ever here on the Prince Magnum channel, we're going to travel back in time and take a look at some stock footage that I regularly use right here on the Prince Magnum channel on everybody's favorite hot rod, Project Spirit. Now, if you're not in the know, if you don't know who Project Spirit is, Project Spirit is this car with all the trophies spread across her hood, my 1975 Ford Maverick four-door. Now, let me say right now up front, Project Spirit did not always look like this. And in a later video, we're really going to dive back in time and actually we're going to walk you through since purchasing Project Spirit back in 2016. That being said, the video footage that we're going to show you again is stock footage that I regularly use right here on the channel. It's footage that uh, I originally told the story back not too long after it happened, but however, time has marched on. The Prince Magnum channel has well over 500 videos now as I'm making this. It's been a couple of years, so the video has been kind of lost to time, I guess you could say, you know, and it doesn't hurt to kind of travel back in time and revisit this particular subject because back then, if you will, when the actual footage happened, uh, my thoughts were a little different back then. Um, back then, when the actual uh, footage happened, um, I was trying to tell you, don't do this, at, you know, basically, don't try this, don't try this. But deep down, um, there was a part of me that thought this was really awesome. And when I go back and watch the old video, I really honestly and truthfully feel like at that time I was really forcing it, you know forcing myself to say that uh, this isn't cool you shouldn't do this back then I was really trying to fight that down and if you pay close enough attention you'll hear it in my voice in the original video but time has marched on since then and my thoughts have kind of changed since then so if you will I'm gonna actually be a little bit more honest about the actual video footage. Now the video footage I'm going to show you is an actual street race that Project Spirit was in. Uh, the street race in question is against a newer Camaro. How new? It's shortly after they had brought the Camaro back after its hiatus where they redesigned it and all that other good stuff. Um, let me say up front that this technically qualifies as road rage. I was in a very bad mood. Things were just not going my way. Um, in a nutshell, what actually happened was uh, Princess Faye wanted me to be at her job to pick her up right after she clocked out from work, and she pretty well had a pretty good idea when she was going to be getting out of work. I was working on a particular project. I lost track of time, and um, I looked at the clock. I'm like, holy crap. So I started rushing out the door to Project Spirit. And, um, you know, I'm climbing behind the wheel and I take off. I get onto Highway 67 and um, I'm hot footing it there. Princess Faye is calling me. Um, and uh, if you know anything about Highway 67, uh, cellular service on 67 is very spotty at best. Uh, you'll be going along, you might be listening to something, uh, say on like iHeartRadio or maybe on YouTube and you will completely lose service. Uh, you'll drop calls if you're in the middle of a phone call or whatever like that. Cell service on Highway 67 is seriously lacking. That's just the way it is. Uh, you know, it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a podunk area, if you will. But, you know, hey, nothing against it. I like the small town area myself. That being said, um, basically the, the person in this Camaro started kind of playing with me and I lost my temper. Uh, lost my temper and ended up in a serious street race. Uh, thankfully, nobody was hurt. Uh, nobody got caught by the police because we both would have went to jail uh, if we had been caught. We were going seriously fast. So I really shouldn't have to say this, but again, 
as it says in the beginning of the video, please don't try this ever. Uh, this is seriously dangerous. I mean, yeah, it's cool, but there is a danger factor that you should take into consideration. Not so much, it, you know, I, I, am I going to say that you yourself might be a bad driver, but it's everybody else around you and accidents happen. That's why we call them accidents. Okay. So just bear that in mind. Be safe. Follow the rules of the road. The road. You know, just be safe. So that being said, let's go ahead. Let's cut away to the actual video footage and uh, and really talk about uh, the actual race itself. All right. And after that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and cut away, come back and uh, and uh, we'll kind of wrap this up. Okay, folks, this is the actual footage run at half speed from the actual race from 2017. Uh, the Camaro in question is about a 2012, 2013. I know it's from around the time frame that the Camaros had returned to the landscape. Um, as I said earlier in the video, my frame of mind was really, really horrible. Uh, things were just not going my way, and uh, it wasn't going to take much uh, to set me off, which is exactly what happened. Um, the Camaro that's about to come into shot um basically you know as things were not going my way kind of kept playing with me playing with me and finally i just i lost my cool and it's like you want to go let's go um so i started speeding up they would speed up and then pretty soon this is what it turned into um as they you know were kind of running up the road and you know trying to get you know get ahead of me it's like all right now i'm gonna swing around you now i've got a convertible mustang in my way so my temperament with this mustang was really really bad because it's like they could have gotten out of the way a long time ago they can really see two cars flying up on them but they didn't get out of the way so my temperament uh was just really getting worse at this point so you can just imagine with this mindset uh, I guess you could say a whole road rage thing going on that I was really going to push Spirit to the limit. Bear in mind, at this point in time, Project Spirit has very few modifications on her, so you might want to say she was a bone stock 75 Ford Maverick with her inline 250. At this point, we're doing probably close to the triple digits, uh, but again, you know, I wasn't paying super close attention until I actually outran this Camaro. Uh, looking at this hill, I knew full well as we kind of hit it that Project Spirit's highway gears would not allow her to just pull away, so you'll actually see the Camaro start to pull away from Spirit. What ends up happening, we reach the top of the hill, my foot's all the way to the floor, and Spirit really took off. Uh, basically on flat ground, Project Spirit would top out close to 130 miles per hour with her highway gears, even with that anemic in line six. When I looked in my rear view mirror, I didn't even see the headlights of that Camaro. Um, in other words, that Camaro basically gave its owner a giant middle finger and said, nope, we are done. So that was pretty much it for that Camaro. And if you will, um, I, I don't know anything about that Camaro. I don't know if it had a four-cylinder, a six-cylinder, or a V8, but there you have it. Project Spirit just completely left that car sitting still. So now we're going to run the footage at regular speed with a little bit of music, and we'll talk about it afterwards.
All right, folks, there you have it. Project Spirit. Back in 2017, for the most part at that time, she was still bone stock. Uh, the only modifications that we had made at that time uh, were the hotter ignition coil from Excel. Uh, we had uh, the Thresh Turbo muffler, which uh, is just a mild performance muffler. And uh, we had opened up the air filter so she would breathe a little bit better. Other than that, I mean, as I'm saying it, she was bone stock. There really wasn't much going on just yet at that time. We hadn't even started looking at doing a front disc brake conversion, if that's any indication of uh, what we were looking at at that time. So, again and again and again, you'll hear me say that these old cars were really awesome, even in their heyday. And, uh, you know, here we're looking at nearly 45 years later, and Project Spirit still... Uh, can do all sorts of amazing things. All right, before I begin rambling, because if you let me, I'll just keep on blabbing to, you know, uh, till the cows come home. That's just the way I am. So, to stop myself, let's go ahead and give a special shout out to these fine, wonderful folks right here. These folks here were kind of the inspiration behind this video. Uh, they uh, basically asked all the right questions and uh, in a nutshell, I was going to refer them to the original video, but at that time, I had all, again, I had really realized that at that point in time, that that video was not, um, it wasn't what I really wanted to portray about that moment in time. So, uh, the smartest thing that I could do was go ahead and, uh, and you know, kind of give it an updated version and I'm glad that I did because now this version will definitely tie in to the mini series here on do-it-yourself budget hot rodding the icon the legend and the record which there will be a couple more videos coming out as I'm making this video uh, that uh, will really tie this and that really in together so there you have it thank you guys for the inspiration behind this video I do appreciate it all right Again, check out my partner, Mr. Sketch Scars, on uh, Sketch Squad TV. He is the pioneer of 4G LTE mobile live streaming. Also, be sure to check out these fine folks right here. These wonderful people who do amazing streams. Uh, they're not just streaming video games. Uh, they're streaming their personalities. So be sure to check these folks out. I promise you, you will, uh, you'll, you'll absolutely fall in love with them, just as I have. And again, as always, get out there and work on a project. I don't care what it is; just do something with yourself. Remember, idle hands and a creative mind go together like oil and water. If you have a sweetheart, sweep them off their feet and do something special for them today. And as always, for all of you out there, if no one out there has told you that they love you today, Prince Magnum does. God bless you and have a happy 24. Thank you.
me while I whip this out. <laughs> oh. 